Welcome to the show. My name's Adam. And I'm Zoe. And today we will be counting down the top 10 easiest saw traps to beat. That's right. We're going to go through the whole 10 movies, the entire franchise. And this is what we deem to be the easiest, or at least the traps that we would want to be in if we were going to be put into a trap. Definitely. I think that we considered these traps as... What ones would we not mind being in? That's and to right. be fair, there isn't a lot of traps in the Saw franchise that we want to be in. <laughs> of course. But if we had to be in 10 of them, these would be the 10. That's right. So at number 10, we have... We have the public execution trap from Saw 3D. If you wish to save her, then the saws must be pushed all the way to one side or the other. Look, there's three people in this trap. Let's get this started. So it's not necessarily the easiest. That's why I put it at number 10. But it definitely is pretty easy for Dina, at least. For Dina, certainly, it is an easy trap to beat. And it is so funny how it pans out because she really is dumb. <laughs> she really is. Let's just start by saying that someone has to die in this trap. You've got three people pinned together. Yeah. Um, it's pretty much Jigsaw saying, hey, you're all in a love triangle. Dina's playing you. Now one of you has to die. So pick which one has to die. Uh, for Dina... The easiest way for her to survive this trap is just by shutting up. You gotta kill him, bro! Yeah, she could. She had two options here. Say nothing at all and let them fight it out as originally planned, mm -hmm. or pick a side. Yeah. And, and if that person wins or loses, she still lives. Either way, she still lives. In my personal opinion, she should have just said nothing because these two guys at the bottom, they're both in love with her and she makes it pretty clear throughout this trap that she really is two-timing them both. She <laughs> makes it very, very clear that she has been cheating on them both. Yeah. She could easily just be pick one and say, I don't know what he's talking about. I've never seen this guy in my life. Or she could just shut her mouth. That's right. It's, it's a pretty simple. Do nothing. I love this. Give me a trap where I can do nothing. That's a, that's a trap I'll be in. Now, that being said, you don't want to be Brad or Ryan in this trap, of no, course. No. That's a bad idea. But in terms of Dina in this trap, had to make it the list. I mean, sit back, keep your mouth shut, survive the trap. And of course, she didn't. I think we're breaking up with you, Dina. She and didn't. That was and not um, a good move. Dr for dramatic effect, she really does get torn to pieces. That's right. And honestly, by the point that she does get torn to pieces, she doesn't necessarily deserve it because she cheated on people. People make mistakes. But she did deserve it for being so dumb <laughs> that she didn't know she just had to shut up. And let's insert the pic here of uh, Bobby saying, or the video here of Bobby saying, You just had to shut up! Why would you just shut the fuck up? Because that is how this scene went. This is this is me watching the movie. You yeah. just had to shut up. Yeah, she didn't deserve it for being a bad person. She just deserved it for being dumb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Number nine, we have the necktie trap from Saw 5. <laughs> At the surface level looking at it, you might think at first, okay, great. Not a great trap to be in. I don't want to lose my head. But in general, pretty easy, really. Yeah. As it's talked about a number of times in this film, they basically just had to let each other go one by one, walk over, pick up the key. Like, it's pretty straightforward. I think the circumstances behind this trap probably make it a little bit harder. Like, the the fact that one of them, if not a few of them, could lose their heads in this trap if they're yeah. not fast enough. They've obviously got a timer to consider as well. Um, and they're all really greedy people that yes. are wanting to fight for that key. Um, now, one thing that annoys me so much is um, the guy with the glasses. And I should remember his name, but I don't. Yeah. He goes up to the box and just sort of stands there and uses the key at the box. And it's like, go back. So other people can go like there's so many things in this trap that just annoy me so much that that limit people's chance of survival. They're an annoying bunch of characters. They are. This, this they group are. is one of the least likable in all of the Saw movies. Yeah. These guys just had to work together as we found out throughout the film. If they'd worked together through all of the traps, they would have survived quite happily. But uh, this trap specifically, they also note that the keys were all the same and they could have just shared the same key. Yeah, and to be fair, like I, I don't Not necessarily obvious. consider that here because it isn't entirely obvious yeah. that the, the keys need to be used. I definitely think that in reality, one person would die because that is is not entirely obvious um but it's just the circumstances behind this there's so many things that happen that make this so hard to watch because it's just such dumb decisions on their parts yes 100 percent. like as soon as you start watching it you can see them all push at the same time and you realize like if you just let each other go yeah you could just walk over grab it quite quickly and walk back or yeah. you let one person go and smash all the boxes and give them bring all the keys back or at least two boxes at a time because of course the further that someone goes the more that it's pulling back the other people 
all. But yeah. say one person goes up and smashes the two boxes in front of them rather than just the one, it, there's just so many ways that they could get out of this. Yes, exactly. So we had to put this on the list as well. This is not that complex. Of course, they don't work together and someone does lose their head. Yes. Uh, but <laughs> Amazing CGI blood in sewers, yes. <laughs> Shouldn't have happened. And uh, on that note, uh, what's on number eight? At number eight, we have the mausoleum trap from Saw 4. The mausoleum trap is a very interesting trap. In this trap, one person wakes up unable to see and the other person wakes up unable to talk. Yes. Now, I can't tell you the amount of times that I woke up and just started swinging. <laughs> and just started being like... So I don't know what happens. This scene just opens up. The guy wakes up and just randomly wants to attack everything and anything in his path. I will say one thing. There are a lot of people that do extremely dislike this trap and yeah. I must say I'm not one of them I don't think it's the you worst it. I, I don't love it <laughs> I do not love it don't get me wrong but I don't think it's by far the worst trap in the Saw franchise yeah, okay, um, well. I do however think that there are so many ways in this trap that uh, you could use to survive yeah. um, one I, I agree I don't understand why he's not only just waking up and, and swinging, but waking up and considering that the other person in the room isn't a victim as well. And exactly. just considering that it's the person that put him there. I mean, what's your instinct? If you were to wake up and you couldn't see, what would you do? I think that not seeing is the harder one. Yep. I think that the person with the... the Sewn up mouth. Yeah, the sewn up mouth yeah. art with the sewn up mouth. That's an easy pick. And you, it shows you at the end, he just rips his mouth open. I think he's yeah. definitely got it easier because... He had he just ripped his mouth open earlier, he could have tried to explain, hey, mate, I'm not the one who's put you here. I'm in this situation as well, therefore making it easier for them both to survive. I think that the person with the eyes sewn shut has definitely got it worse in this situation. Again, I think that a lot of the traps that we have in this easy to beat list, the answer is just do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of this is Do like, nothing. Do nothing. Or do what you end up doing earlier. <laughs> yeah, don't do anything. All right, next up, at number seven, we have the bucket room trap from Jigsaw. First, an offering of blood, no matter how little will give you a green light. Now, the bucket room trap, this is one where they just literally had to bleed a little bit. Yeah. You know, uh, as long as they can much, get a little bit of blood out. The trap opens, Jigsaw comes on, he explains the rules. Pretty much it's just... No matter how small your sacrifice yeah. of blood is, that will unlock your collar. Yeah. That, that's going to take off the bucket. That's going to open your door. That's going to get you out of the situation you're mm. in. Um, and, of course, Anna finds out early on, oh, we just need to cut ourselves. That's not too bad. Not complex. It's really not that complex. Yeah. I, of course, it's scary. You're rushing at a you giant know, circular, a giant saw, circular yeah. saw. Like, yeah. it is scary. But... Yeah, you put your arm out a bit. Uh, you can really cut anything you want. Yes. You have the whole... You can choose. It's free reign. Yeah, that's right. I mean, yeah, you just put out your little finger, you put your little pinky, you cut I tell you what, though, whatever. putting your finger out... <laughs> no, thank you. Imagine slipping. Which part are you going for? Your arm? I'd probably do yeah, the arm okay. like she does. I think she does the arm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, look, this trap is so easy yep. that... Uh, even Logan, who's unconscious, passes this trap, so let's say. Well, the, and this is what I don't quite understand <laughs> yeah. about the trap, because it's who if you are unconscious, yeah. it, it as soon as you hit it, you're set free. So what, you're just going to, when you're set free, you're just staying on the saw? Like it, well, that's true, everyone yeah. Everyone sort of wins? It just, it just, yeah, if you just touch it a little bit, you fall, it just stops straight yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the thing, you know, it's, it is an easy trap. It's a really easy, <laughs> trap. easy trap. It is a really easy trap and it is one that I would like to be in. Yeah, and I think that, you know, if we're talking about Jigsaw as a movie in general too, this movie's traps are the worst traps. Oh, they really are, aren't they? They really are. Aside, got laser, laser collar trap aside. Look, I yeah, enjoy look, that it's, one. But uh, yeah, if you had to rate all the movies, this is some not necessarily well thought out no, ones. No, yeah, they sure. are some horrific traps. Yes, and on that note, uh, what's at number six? At number six, we have the razor box trap from Saw 2. Now, there is a number of uh, keen-eyed viewers and mm -hmm. fans who do know when you look at this trap, there's actually a key to the razor box actually right in front, at the very top of the box. You can see there's a key in a lock, which you just have to reach up and unlock yeah. the box, and you can get the antidote out. Now... Obviously, this is not like crazy obvious, but if you do pay attention, it's there. So she could have just walked around the box, seen it, opened it up yeah. and gotten the antidote. 
I think Addison's one problem is is because she is under the influence of the nerve gas and she's obviously terrified that she's going to die and she's come in and she's, she's seen, desperate. She's desperate. Yeah. Um, I think that her one problem is is she doesn't assess her surroundings. No. Which again, it, it's in enti- it's in very hard to fault her for it because she is so desperate. But a simple walk around the room and having a, a bit of a look would show her that there is a key to escape. Uh, there is a tape there as well, although as it's it's not her trap. She could use that tape. She could spare a couple she of could. minutes to use that tape. Um, yeah, just a simple look around the room. In essence, she doesn't think before she acts. Exactly. She pushes her arms in there without a moment's thought, mm-hmm. uh, which is obviously what ruins her in the end. But uh, in terms of easiness, if you really thought about it, especially for the fact that they've got a key and a lock just literally there to open it up, yep. uh, had to make it on the list for sure. Definitely one of the easier ones, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yep, for without sure. Without a doubt. And at number five, speaking of Razor, we have the Razor Wire Maze from Saw 2004. The razor wire trap for old Paul Leahy, um, one of the earliest traps, of course, from Jigsaw. He was given hours to simply navigate some razor wire through a box. I don't know. To me, that just doesn't seem like a complex trap. Uh, It's funny. um, When we were doing the research for this video, this trap came up as one of the ones that was the hardest to beat, which is really surprising to me because if you physically look at how the trap is uh, built... It doesn't look like it's so difficult that you couldn't av- at least avoid a- much of the wire. No. Like there is a lot of that wire in there. If you move slow enough and if you take your time enough, you could get around with minimal injury. Um, right. Yeah, I think that he could he could leave there pretty unscathed, maybe with a few uh, nicks and cuts. Like he's, he's used to that. He's done that before, as Jigsaw said. Um, but... Yeah, I think that you could escape this one, especially with the time frame given. Exactly. Paul he's a pretty big guy, mm-hmm. it, but uh, there was clearly enough room to navigate it. For some reason, though, he sp- tried to speed run it mm-hmm. <laughs> and just went crazy. Yeah. But hours, I mean, come on. Jigsaw never gives that time to anybody for no, anything. No, no. He was being pretty lenient, I thought. Yeah. This one is just stay calm, stay collected, take your time. Because there you do have enough time to be able to get yourself out of this with, uh, yeah, minimal scars, minimal issues. Yeah, absolutely. And at number four, we have... At number four, we have the eye vacuum trap from Sorex. I've had my eyes on you, and I do not like what I see. Now, this trap is not necessarily one you want to be in. No. But in terms of ease to beat it, uh, this is a pretty quick and easy one to beat. Yeah. Uh, as everybody knows. Now, you could argue that it's also easy because it's not real and it's a fantasy trap, which yes, some people like to say. Uh, we won't talk about that because no. it, it does still unfold as if it's a real That's trap. That's right. Um, and I think that this one, the look, breaking your fingers, obviously terrible position to That's be right. in. You don't want to have to break your fingers. However, the fact that he turns that dial one at a time rather than turning it all the way yes. seems so dumb to yes. me. It doesn't make any sense. Does not make any sense. He has, I think it's 60 seconds to complete this yeah. task, which is typical for Jigsaw. Um, 60 seconds to turn a dial the whole way? I'd be done in five seconds. Yeah, on that note, he realised at some point that three hours was probably too much time, so he changed to 60 seconds. 60 seconds seconds instead, yeah. (laughs) Small difference. Yeah. But, yeah, look, you obviously don't want to do this. You don't want to break all your fingers. But out of all of the saw traps that we've seen, just quickly turning a dial five, you know, ways across and breaking your fingers. I'll take that over soaring off my foot, losing my tongue, doing all these other things. Yep. It's not that bad. It's it's quick. It's easy. Has to be on this list. It's going to be painful it's after be it's painful. done. But um, the, the thing that I don't get about this one is as soon as that vacuum sets in and it turns on and you can feel That's that right. this is really happening, I'm sorry, there wouldn't be another thing in my mind exactly. other than turning that freaking dial. Yes. You like, know the thread is there. You yeah. can feel it sucking your eyeballs out. You know it's like yeah. something's going on. Yeah. Yeah, you would know. I think that this trap, maybe it would have made more sense to watch unfold if the vacuum wasn't turned on until after he failed. I feel like then yeah. you could justify him going as slow as he did. But the fact that the threat is there, it's turned on, he should just be clocking Exactly, it, clocking yeah. It. The only reason why I wouldn't be spinning that dial, you're right, is if I th- questioned the threat of the eyeballs or wasn't sure if I was just doing it to myself. But as soon as you could feel the suction, you'd be yeah. like, uh, yeah, I'll do the fingers over my eyes, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But nice, quick, easy. 
Um, if you want to argue me, just write in the comments, sure. But that's this is this no, is definitely I think, what yeah, it is. I think yes. that's that's pretty simple. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Of course, it hurts, but yeah. the actual act itself is pretty. It's simple. It's easy to be yeah. trapped. Absolutely, yeah. for sure. And then we have at number three. At number three, we have the glass jars trap from Saw Five. These keys are in the glass jars hanging from the ceiling. This is a ridiculous trap. Yeah, we're not even like look. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the fact that this is the point where they should have realized, hey, maybe we should be working together on this. This is so stupid. It, it, like, I, I feel like we were defending Addison with her putting the razor, her hands in the razor box because she's also under the influence. This is plain dumb. You can clearly see that these, these tunnels that they have to get in, can they could probably, one of those tunnels could probably house all four of them. Like, it's, yes. it's to that point that these tunnels are big enough to hold two, let alone four, in one. I they don't that. need they don't need to sacrifice one person. And I love that they never question it. No. <laughs> they never do. No. And it's funny because, you know, they seem, well, at least the girl, uh, Julie Benz's character, seems mm. on the smarter side. So you would think that at least one of them would, would mention the fact that, hey, these tunnels are really big. <laughs> like, I, I really do think that we could all fit or that they would at least try. Yeah. Um, no. But that aside, it's not a difficult trap. You're just hitting a bunch of jars until you find a, a key. Yeah. This uh, this group of trap victims, I'm going to say it's one of our least favourite uh, group of trap victims, just purely also because... Could you name any of them just by the way? Like you could probably name every single trap victim in Saw 2 and all that sort of stuff, but coming up with the, any of the names of the guys from Saw 5, like I can't remember any of them. Yeah, no, I can't name a single person. <laughs> no. Not right now. You've really put me on the spot That's with right, that, but no, you know, I can't. Um yeah, you couldn't, uh, couldn't name any of them. But also like it, they were given some pretty easy traps. Like the first one was pretty easy. And uh you know the one we talked about, the necktie trap. But now, of course, this one where they just have to smash some glass bottles and get some keys out. Like, this is a pretty easy yeah. trap. They don't have to do anything besides sit there, smash a bottle, put a key in a lock. It's I mean, hard. aside from the one person that gets sacrificed um, because they're too dumb to realize that they can all fit. Yeah. None of them really need to get hurt. It's just no. you're not hurting yourself. You're not hurting anyone else aside from, you know, fighting to the death with someone to who gets into a tunnel or not. Um but yeah, the whole situation, again, just plain stupid. Like there's certain things that you can justify with, okay, yeah, they're under pressure and, and they've got to do this and they've got to do that. And then they've got the pressure of the timer as well in the background. But this one is so unbelievable that not one of them realised that it is possible to survive without hurting anyone. Yeah. It, it just seems crazy to me. That's right. The real, uh, I guess, the, the real enemy of this trap is greed. Yes, um, greed. Yeah. And I think that, yeah, of course, it also shows the type of characters that they are, especially the guy that works for the, the newspaper, The Herald. I'm an investigative journalist for The Herald. That's what I remember, The Herald. <laughs> like, that's the only thing I remember, that he works for The Herald because of the way he says it. Um... <laughs> But, yeah, yep. it, it does go to show the type of person he is. Yeah. Um, but, the, oh God, the scene is so stupid. <laughs> the scene is really dumb. It is, but uh, it's not the dumbest. <laughs> but, no, certainly but, not. Uh, but, yeah, look, this is an easy trap. Uh, they all should have survived it. That being said, they mostly did. And they didn't have to do much. No, it wasn't a very hard trap. They really trap. didn't. Yeah, so they it was really an easy didn't. pick for us for one of the easiest traps to survive. Um, for those that did survive it as well, they didn't have to go through any pain or anything like that. No it was pain. Pretty simple. No pain. But that brings us almost to the end. We have number two. At number two, we have the Magnum Eye Hole from Saw 2. Now, this is an easy trap. This is an easy trap. I feel like we said that about every single trap. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is an this easy is a, trap. This is a good list. We're yeah. getting to the really easy as we get into the last couple. Yeah. But, geez, the Magnum Isle trap. This is so crazy. This trap is out of control. Oh, my God. I don't know if it's just poor writing or if it's just for our amusement. But if, it, if anything, it just annoys me to see. It doesn't amuse me at yeah. all. It's so dumb. Uh, let's First of all, there's a key. Uh, don't use it in the door in front of you. Oh, let's ignore that. Let's use it in the door in front of us. But let me also look through the peephole yes. while you're using it in the door in front of us. Uh, if you think that you've been told not to use the key in the door in front of you, do you think you'd be anywhere near that door if you tried to use it? Yeah, this this they're specifically told, do not use this key on that door. And so not only does Xavier go and say straight away, 
I'm doing it. Yeah. Fuck it this. I'm not waiting a second. But Gus decides to just be like, yeah, I'm doing it. Right, good idea. And just follows him over and watches through the peephole. It's like if you were told not to do something and someone says, I'm going to do it anyway. Stay away. Let them yeah, do it. Yeah. Just let them like, all right, you you want to risk that? Why would you just join in for no reason? And I think the purpose of this is for the person that does use the key on the door. Obviously, Jigsaw is anticipating that the person who does use the key on the door isn't going to be knelt down using the yeah. key on the door. They're going to be standing right in front of it. They're going to be using the key and they're going to have mean, their really? brains blown out. But Gus coming up behind him and looking in through the peephole while he does it. What? No. A, oh my god! It's so stupid. And can you imagine that if Xavier had have gone over by himself, he probably would have stood up and used the key, and then he would have died and never been a threat well, to anyone. I don't know. Like, oh. could you even put the key in while looking through the peephole? That seems like complex. I don't think anyone's doing that. And uh, yeah, in terms of like beatable traps, give me this trap. I'll I'll just not look through the peephole. I'll Thanks. just stand back. I'll just you know let the other guy go over and try the key while I stand in the corner like everybody else. This is a great trap to avoid, and, and it's a very easy trap. That being said, you know, it is dumb and it is easy. We still love it. We still we love still it. it. We do we love still, it. Do we? And, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to hate on it. Uh, it's a fun... And Gus is an idiot, so, you know... Yeah, it is he didn't last very long, and rightfully so. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. Um, which leads us to the top, number one. And uh, just for a bit of fun, I'm going to say, if you guys want to try and guess what the number one easiest beatable trap is, uh, definitely pause, write the comments down below what you think the easiest trap is uh, before you hear our reveal. This one is uh, very easy. It's very easy. Yeah. It's very easy. And what have and we got? And it contains one? one of our, well, two of our favorite characters ever. <laughs> um, at number one, we have the glass coffin trap from Saw 5. <laughs> yes. Of course. You should of have course, seen this it was coming. that one. Yeah. How did you not know? How did you not know? In this trap, he is told. <laughs> to get in the box. <laughs> to get in the box. And that's all you have to do. Uh, so again, you know, it's one of these traps where it's like, you don't have to really do anything. Uh, just get in the box. Now, look, it does sound dumb when we say it like that. It does. But let's consider this in a comparison to the start of the film where Strom is told not to proceed or he will die, pretty yes. much. Strom is like, eh, fuck it, I'm going to proceed. Uh, and ends up in a technically unbeatable trap, which he does manage to survive. But either way, he is placed in a trap that is built for his execution. Now, Strom is placed in the same circumstances at the end of the film where he is told, get in the box or die. He's given another chance. Exact same circumstances. Exact same circumstances. He's exact same thing that is asked of him. Get in the box or die. And again doesn't get in the box. That's right. He just decides to do the exact same thing as he did the first time and say, F you, I'm not listening. Uh, and he should have. I mean, look, you know, this was a trap where you just had to get in the box. And of course, Hoffman got in the box and he was fine. Yeah. Uh, so this trap was a nice and easy one to beat. Just have a nice little lie down and uh, and just watch your, your nemesis get crushed. Definitely. I think <laughs> on paper, I can understand why people would say, well, it's not dumb because, you know, he doesn't trust Jigsaw. But it happened at the start of the film. The exact same circumstances yes. were there. They were presented to him. We saw where Strom ended up and Strom certainly saw where he ended up. Uh, so you would think that he, having been in this situation before, would be like, okay, maybe this time I will listen. That's right. So as opposed to other traps where you're told to dig your eyeball out or cut your foot off this one just says get in a box and uh and, that's and live a, yeah and that's a pretty good uh trap or test in my opinion so i'll take that one please yes uh, and that's why we put it as our number one and also not only that but it's such a cool scene it's just a really great trap uh one of our favorite traps and uh it's hard to beat to watch. it is yeah. hard to beat it's a really really cool like out of all the traps if we had to put you know, a big list of our favorite ones together. This is really up there. So um, definitely, and I think Strom being such an amazing character and the and the person that we love in the Saw franchise, one of the characters we love so much, having this scene unfold, it just makes it all the better. Yeah, absolutely. So that was our list of the most beatable traps in the Saw franchise, uh, and we would love to hear if we missed any. For a start, yep. there are a few that we did consider and didn't place in there. So any of the traps out you that you would prefer to be in, if you were a trap. Victim, Victim, please write them down below. And of course, if you disagree with our list, as a lot of you do often, uh, please let us know down in the below as well. If you enjoyed that video, please hit like. Otherwise, guys, we'll see you in the next video. See you next time, guys. Game over.